Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont and I am the author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. Today I'm going to be talking about how to use Google Search to find specific videos that you may be interested in. And this is relevant because uh, while many people will just go straight to YouTube to find what they're looking for, you can actually find a, a lot of results straight from Google. And also the results on Google will show you videos that are on other sources, not just YouTube. And some people, they want to look outside of YouTube, so this is pretty important. Anyways, let's get started. This is Google.com. For some reason, it's showing a picture of a running Canadian. I don't know why that is. But let's say that I'm looking for videos about hummingbirds. So let's type in hummingbirds and press return. Okay, here are the, here are the regular results for for a hummingbird. There's 87, nearly 88 million results for hummingbird. But if you want to just restrict it to videos, of course, you click on videos. Okay, 272,000 results in the videos for hummingbirds. And you'll see right away that most of them are actually YouTube videos, but not all of them. For instance, here's one that's National Geographic video. It's pretty short. New York Times. So there's many other sources. If I wanted to restrict the hummingbirds videos to just uh, hummingbird videos about ruby-throated hummingbirds, what I could do is add quotation marks and inside the quotation marks put ruby, whoops, throated. So it's, you can see it's restricted the, the results to 56,000 videos or so with a ruby-throated hummingbird. And ruby-throated means it has to have exactly this phrase inside, inside, inside the, the title or the metadata, that is the description or the keywords for that particular video. And if I wanted to restrict it more, like let's say I wanted to show like a fast ruby-throated hummingbirds. So I've, I've included the phrase, exact phrase, fast ruby-throated. Let's see if there are any results. And check this out. No results found for hummingbirds fast ruby throated. That's that the reason why is because nobody in their description or in their uh, the title of the video has used fast ruby throated. So let's get rid of that and go back to just ordinary ruby throated. Fifty six thousand results. Let's say that I wanted to restrict the results to just YouTube. There's a way to do that. You type site colon and then YouTube.com. So. There are 17,600 res results in the videos area that have ruby-throated hummingbird within it. So that's pretty useful. Another thing I can do is if I add a minus to the front of, to the, in front of any of these uh, phrases or words or this particular uh, tool here, site, if I type minus in front of it, that means it will remove YouTube results from what I see below. Let's take a look. All right, check this out. So I have hummingbirds with the phrase ruby throated, the exact phrase in the title or in the description or in the keywords, but minus site colon youtube.com. That means YouTube results are not here. And check it out. There are no YouTube results here. This is Vimeo, Herald Courier, which sounds like a newspaper. Um, it might be birdnote.org. So there's all these sources that have, uh, that have videos about ruby throated hummingbirds, but aside from YouTube, 41,000 of them. Okay, another interesting thing, and this is the last thing I'm gonna show you, is the Tools button. So click on Tools and see what it, see what it has there. This is pretty cool. Uh, any duration. So if I wanted to restrict it to a long video, like let's say I, I really wanna learn about ruby-throated hummingbirds, I click Long, 20 plus minutes, and it will show them. So these are the big videos, pbs.org, archive.org, daily motion, you know, these are really long videos. Some of them are, you know, more than 45 minutes long or 20 minutes long. Uh, the other thing I can do is I can restrict the quality. If I want to have high quality, that is professionally shot HD. Oops, there's nothing there though. And the reason is, is for whatever reason, those videos, when they were uploaded, they weren't the highest quality. But maybe if I removed some of these, uh, some of these things here, like let's get rid of this YouTube restriction. Okay, so YouTube does have some high quality videos. Anytime, this is actually pretty useful too. So let's say that I know that there was a video that was uploaded to YouTube, but in the year 2016. That's, that's more than a year ago. 
That's more than an hour ago, of course. So I could do custom range. So I could just do 2016 to 2016. Or I could say January 1st, 2016 to December 31st, 2016. Go. Check it out. Here are all the 2016 videos, high quality, that are long, uh, that have these, uh, these uh, uh, keywords or phrases in them. To learn how to get the most out of Google Drive and Docs, including using search in Google Drive and Docs, which is a little bit different than regular Google search, check out my book, Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Thank you so much for watching.